special group in the Kansas City area is showing its appreciation for the brave men and women who serve our country. Cars for Heroes will honor at least a dozen veterans with a pre-owned vehicle this morning. Najee Sherman joins us live from Dubs Dread Golf Club in Kansas City, Kansas with more on that. Hey, Najee. Good morning, Curtis. Today we're going to help a lot of veterans restart their lives. It's all part of the Cars for Heroes effort and the founder of the organization known as Santa himself is here to tell us a little bit more. Why do they call you Santa? Well, about seven, eight years ago, um, somebody gave me the nickname of Car Santa and it just kind of <laughs> stuck from there on and so hence the beard came out and now I'm stuck with the beard forever. But uh, uh, it was just a nickname that stuck uh, from some radio people a while back. Well, I have to say you look the part and you're doing a lot of good work. What's going to happen out here today? Well, uh, I think next up uh, we've got uh, a, a librarian from Harrisonville High School that was all the students at her school wrote me a letter about how she needed help. The van was so broken down that she had that she was actually driving her power wheelchair to school every day. And uh, so she uh, she's pretty excited about getting, we've got her a van with a wheelchair left over here so she can uh, no longer has to drive her wheelchair uh, all the way to work. And that's one of many cars we're going to be giving away today. We've got the radio station out here. The bikers have just pulled in to spice things up. We've got students lining up the cars. And I know this is an effort that you originated. So what's it like for you as a form, someone who has served our country to see this kind of effort grow and expand the way it has? Well, I, you know, I get to be Santa Claus and I've got to be Santa Claus for 17 years now. So it's uh, it's it's very rewarding to, uh, to give these people a hand to see the relief on their face. You know, it's a real simple thing is if they're not winning the lottery I just give them an old car that we fix up and uh, but it, it, when you're stuck at home and you can't move or you're immobile to get to the doctor or the grocery store it means the world to these people just to have something that'll get them there well such an exciting effort and you at home are going to get to be a part of that coming up in our next half hour we're giving the first car away back to you guys in the studio